Hello everybody, today we're doing the flashlight optical flare tutorial. So I'm doing a whole series of optical flares. I've done Iron Man boots. If you haven't seen that video, hopefully I'll put a link somewhere in the effect control box. Anyway. Um Yeah, so um right, we're going to be creating this effect, so I'll create a new composition called flashlight. Or torch or something, you know, it's call it what you want. So, create a new solid, make this one blue. Okay. I basically use the same mechanism for most of my optical flares, but so switch on the tile action safe. Um, so, make this this button. The reason I like tile action safe is because it's sort of hold on to the tile action. Yeah, because no title action safe. That's right. So drag these in a bit. Um we're getting lost with all these idiots. So add a radial fast blur, switch the visibility on, and turn it up a bit. Because uh so far that doesn't it hasn't really done much, has it? So what we're going to do is sort of, well, it has done a bit, it's made it look a bit better. So we can turn that off for now and let's start moving the position. So you'll see that if we move the position of the night, sometimes you'll get these cut corners like here. Um, and the way that you can avoid that is just make, make the mask a bit thinner. Then just turn it up, turn the radial flare, um, radial fast blur a bit. Sorry, <laughs> right. So duplicate this. Um, yeah, duplicate it. What is it duplicating? Oh, it's just going into the layer. So yeah, it's duplicated. Right now, rotate that a bit. Rotate that a bit here, sir. So. Scale of this, um, let's make the mask a bit thinner. You know, you can make, prefer to make this one smaller up here. So, if you haven't seen my Iron Man boot tutorial, I talk about that earlier, and I have an annoying habit of talking about stuff too much. So, um, yeah. So, you can just rotate that in any way you want. Then, Change, um, parent this one to the cyan solid, which is our, bo our bottom layer. Um, so, sorry, being rude. Did you get it? Cyan um, bottom layer. So, um, animate the position of this from here to maybe here. Um, that it goes anywhere across the screen. That might be a bit far to be all I think, but. You can just do what you want with it. Make it a bit slower, make it a bit faster. You know. You. How are you doing? So. Um. Got that. Now, we need our text. This flash. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Um. I just need to check in this flash like that. Oh, hold on. No. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll get to that bit in a minute. So, go to the flashlight comp. And. It's not looking very bold at the moment, is it? So, what we're going to do in a sec, we make it bold. Make it bold. Make it bold. Oh, great. Create a adjustment layer. And I just did a text, and you can see why you weren't looking. So, turn the radial bar that you just added to your radial, um, to your adjustment layer. Um, and then just change it to brightest. Prevent it from sort of making that all shiny. So go to the first frame and drag it to the center. Then put a keyframe on the center, go to the end, and then change it to the center again so it will tag along nicely there. So it sort of shines through there. Yeah, but you can turn that up a bit. I put it to something mad like this. In the original one, yeah, but just to make these a bit bolder, what I did was I scaled, so scaled this up. Just a 
erase that. Make it look nice. So there we go. That looks much better. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Where uh, we'll be doing this. Uh, this. Uh, maybe just the next one. Do the side one. Not the most exciting. But yes. By the way, you'll know about next ones if you see the Warhammer episode. There we go. Just go and learn a bit about Necrons, and I'll see you tomorrow.